Hello everybody, we have uh, Jetta here, VW, and uh, what we are doing at the moment is to investigate and see uh, what is going on because the ABS light is on. So we have uh, I've plugged in the machine here, so I just want to show you the codes so that we take it from there. So this is what I have uh, from the diagnostic machine, it's an O000287 right rear ABS wheel speed sensor okay so this is the fault code that we have for the ABS so let's go to the wheel and then let's see if we can identify and see what is wrong right guys so this is the wheel in particular that is giving us uh, that trouble code so if you check I want you to uh, maybe the light is not great but maybe let me zoom this a little bit yeah uh, you can see in here where my finger is that's the ABS relactor there okay that's the wheel speed sensor relactor so if you check that you see that brown part it means that it's missing it peeled off so because of that that's why we have this trouble cord maybe let me get a good light here um, and try and show you this so that you'll understand what I'm talking about right I've got better light now Look as I turn the wheel, uh, this particular area here is what is giving us problem. The, the ABS material peeled off, so the sensor has got nothing to read on. Look at now, this part is fine. That's okay. Uh, that is fine until we come back to that part. So when the wheel gets to that rusty part there, that's what is setting the cord, okay? 00287 uh, ABS, um, right ABS full speed sensor. So now we're going to take that hub out and replace it. That's all we need to do. If we had a seal, we could just replace the seal, but you know what? It's better to replace the whole hub. So we'll show you the tear down and that's all you need to know. Thank you. Right, so what we are doing here, uh, we have removed the caliper. So next we want to remove uh, the brake carrier and so that we can have access. We want to have access to this uh, disc. Pull the disc out and then we'll get the hub out. Okay? We'll have to go in here to get the hub out. So, um, right, so you need to come to that one at the bottom there and then go to the one the other one at the top this one is a nuisance okay this one is easy but the one at the top can be a problem Mine is up. So this is the stage where we are. We want to remove that bolt. Once we remove the bolt, the hub comes out. That's the only thing that holds that. So you need an 18 uh, for this one here. Uh, so you, it's, a, it's an M18, as you can see. So you put it in here like that. Okay. And I've got a wee kit here. Um, so that's the wee socket. Goes it goes with a half inch so this side here goes in okay like that i'll show you the wee socket here <clears throat> here's a socket set very very good socket set 
okay, it works very, very well. Um, okay, I, think I can show you this way here. It's a silly one. Okay. Very good socket set. Um, so, but for the for the inside ones, uh, for those two, for the brake carrier, um, I used this one here in an M14. You know, you 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 need a long a longer one and a, a, a long one for the bottom and a short one for the top. So, so here we go. Okay. It is, it is tight. You're talking about 240 something, I think, or 50 something Newton meters plus, maybe 90 degree. I'll check this and give you the actual uh, torque settings, but I'll loosen it with both hands. I'm listening with one hand and filming on the other. the reason why that lock tight and rust that's the, the whole reason why so bring it here then I can you know go on have a closer look so this is our issue here okay that's why we have and if you watch that code guys it actually states that it's a mechanical problem so this is what we mean by mechanical it's not electronic because the sensor works fine so we're going to put another one here for you, but I hope you have seen how to do this so you don't have to be looking either for Sam or me. You can do this job by yourself now. Right, guys, we have a new hub here, all right? So that's the real thing, as you can see, straight from the paper. Right, our issue with that, with that one was this. Um, this is a magnetic ring, okay, for the ABS. If any damage happens here then you're going to have a light coming on so we have a new one i just wanted to show you that we have a new one there's nothing wrong with the with the magnetic ring so we're going to put this one and then we'll check and show you that the light has gone away just keep watching the space right guys um i didn't want to you know there was no there's no point of me showing you how to put a caliper back and you know we just tighten this one um 200 newton meters and then we uh, we put a 90 degree 10 on it okay and that's basically it check checked it for you know if the bearing is not is not shaking it was okay so now we are going to put the wheel on and then plug the diagnostic machine check if that cord is gone which i believe is and then that's the job done okay guys this is this is what happens when uh, something stays in the vehicle for too long okay so this is the material that the abs sensor reads on okay so just came off as you can see it's peeling off see that so if this is a different um type of a of a of a, an abs sensor Others, uh, they read on a metal reluctor, but these ones, no. These ones are actually reading on this. See, on these ones here, you see there was these wheel lines? One is north, south, north, south, north, south, north, south, okay? So, that's, uh, that was the issue that gave us zero, zero, uh, two, eight, seven fold code. Right guys, as you can see now, the bearing has been fitted and um, the engine is running and we have no lights. We're taking this car just for a drive, just two minutes, three minutes drive and then bring it back and then show you that this job was done right. So there was nothing wrong with the sensor. The code said it's a mechanical issue. So as I have been showing you, it was mechanical for sure. So let's prove this by taking a road test and then I'll come and show you what's happening. Right guys. Um, we took this car for a drive and this is what we have so that wheel speed sensor fault is fixed So the diagnosis and the rectification was correct. Please consider to subscribe to Jamro's electronic solution Thank you very much for your time and for your support